Hi guys, today another project plan update. I'll try to make it a quick one because to be honest I don't have too much time to film. So let's get just right started. Um, foundation. Um, last time we were here and now we are down here. I label this now as the months on there. This is the number seven protecting perfect. I really like this one. Um, it's nice and moisturizing. It works well on my skin. I even had recently a few issues again with my eczema and I used it and it was still good. Isn't most amazing, of course, to wear foundation when you have an eczema outbreak, but it does work. Then my mix of primer. I still use the Glossier Future Dew um, together with the Estee Lauder, the Illuminator. And I just mix one pump of this um, with a little squirt of this. And yeah, looks actually fairly even, um, the progress. So if we go on like this, because the bottom of the glass bottle is quite big, I maybe have another five weeks of this in there, so another month and a bit. This one looks more like two, three more months of use, but we're getting there. We're using it. By the way, I think this one probably will be empty. It's the next update, hopefully. Then my setting spray is the Lacroix one. I do like it. Um, it's a long-lasting setting spray. And I forgot to mention actually last time, I really can recommend to shake this one. Because I had to look in the bottle because it's really tricky to find out how how much is left in the bottle so what i have to do is i have to unscrew it and shine a torch from the top in and then you can see a bit because you can't shine a torch actually through the bottle and it made me realize when i looked in the top that you really have to shake it because there's some kind of um white swirls in there i guess because it's a matte setting spray it's just some sort of powder floating in there but we were last time here now we're done here and if we're looking at it i probably have like um two and a half three more months left on use but again getting there then my powder i use um to set the foundation is the bare minerals one this one is the matte and glow invisible light duo i guess and we saw last time already slightly the grid now we properly can see the grid so i'm definitely um really good with the usage saying that though it took a long time to get there and even though they're very flat i think there's quite a few more months of usage left um i do like it though and i will continue using it um because i just really honest i, I don't like that compact and i just want it gone out of my collection the powder is all right and this is not care wise i actually put the um benefit powder in there i do still have somewhere in the box there we go I depotted this one, the dandelion one, because it's just really annoying to get a brush into that box. And because I like to use a big fluffy brush, because even though it looks like a blush, it's actually um, a setting powder. So it gives you a really slight pink glow, but not much. And you can see actually the pan has grown, um, which makes me happy. I will continue using it. And sometimes when I use a bit less of this, I just go over with this, but sometimes I used already enough powder with this and then I don't use this, so I, I don't use this one on a daily basis because I'm more focusing on this one at the moment to empty it. Then my colored face powders, um, they're from Makeup Geek. This is the blush bronzer. You can see a dip in the bronzer and definitely a big dip in the um, highlighter. I will continue using this one, but I guess once any of these two is finished. The blush I'm happy to ditch. I'm not the biggest fan of the color. I still use it though. I just use a really light hand, which is why there's not really a dip, because I just think it's too orange on me. Um, and I think that highlighter, proper winter time, I won't be able to use it. It has a very golden glow and I find that not very fitting for winter. But the bronzer is really nice. The bronzer is actually my hero product in here. So um, I will continue using it and we see how it goes. Then my stick products. So my eyebrow pencil, my eyeliner and my eyeshadow stick. Um, I marked it in a book. Um, the eyebrow pencil is actually halfway through what was left in the pencil. I used it before already. So I guess there's one month of use left. Um, eyeliner, we went down here. And shadow stick, we also used a good amount. So several months left in there, and same as the eyeliner, several months of use left in there. But eyebrow pencil, I actually need to check. I think I have one more eyebrow pencil in my whole collection left, and that's it. But I will continue using, and then I see if I actually will buy a new eye product for the brows, or if I actually might um, look at some of my brown eyeshadows to use them up um, as, a, yeah, as a brow product instead, to get some usage out of them. Then, um, last thing is my Iconic London um, mascara. This one is actually, um, it's still 
goes. But the last few days was actually the very first time where I struggled a little bit. So I will not add a new mascara in yet. But I think um, this one, it's probably the last month I will use it. And then I will definitely start a new one. I, To be honest, in my whole collection, I only have one backup. I have an Aldi mascara I want to use after this one. And that's it. So there we go. That's my project pen. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Bye.